In this question, the probability density function of a continuous random variable x is given by f of x equals x on 12 for x between 1 and 5 inclusive and it's equal to 0 otherwise. Part A, find the probability that x is less than 3. So if you look at the graph of this, which I recommend, always look at the graphs of these PDFs because you don't know what the graph is doing. And so x on 12, so that's a linear function. And if x equaled 1, this value here, then f of x would equal 1 12th. So let's say here's 1 and there's 1 12th there, 1 12th, and x is 1. And if you subbed x equals 5 in there, x equals 5, this would become 5 on 12. So when x is 5, uh, you have a point up here, something like that. And let's say that point right there as the y coordinate or f of x coordinate, 5 on 12. And so that's the graph there. It's a little bit wonky because I went a little bit too far with that dot. And that's the x value of 5. This is x. And this axis here is f of x. So the probability x is less than 3. So 3 is the halfway point here. And probability that x is less than 3 is this area here. It can only go from 3 to 1 because that's uh, the left-hand end point or the left-hand x value of the graph. So that area or that probability that x is less than 3 is equal to the area which is equal to, and this is a trapezium, vertical sides here, which means they're parallel. And so the formula for the trapezium, a plus b on 2 multiplied by the height. Now, a, let's call it this side. So the height of this side is 1 12th. And then when x equals 3, so subbing 3 in here, you would get 3 on 12. So that's the length of this side here. And 3 on 12 and then divide that by 2, and then multiply by the height, which is how far apart those two parallel sides are, which is 2. These two cancel, and you're left with 1 12th plus 3 12 which is 4 12 which is 1 third. That is the correct answer for this one. In part B, if the probability that x is greater than or equal to a is equal to 5 eighths, Eights, find the value of a. So this time I'm going to do it by integration. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to a is equal to the integral from. So in my graph, so from, I'll actually draw another little graph in here. So, and so there's the graph basically the same shape. This is 1, this is 5. And for a, the probability that x is more than or equal to a to be 5 eighths, that means that a will be on this side of the half, halfway mark, wherever the 50% probability is. So in other words, all of this in here is 5 eighths. That would make that mark there a. So you are doing, or I'll be doing, the integral from a to 5, so a to 5 of the function, which is x on 12 with respect to x, and that's equal to 5 eighths. So anti-differentiating this, you get x squared on 2 and then divided by 12, so that becomes 24, and then from 5 or a to 5, so 5 eighths is equal to, and then subbing in 5, you get 25 on 24, and then minus a squared on 24. If you times both sides by 24, so that whole thing there, and times this by 24, 8 cancels into that 3 times, and that gives you 15. And then the 24 cancels out each of these 24s here, and you end up with 25 minus a squared. From there, a squared is going to equal 15 minus 25, uh, sorry, is equal to 25 minus 15, which is 10. 
from there a equals plus or minus the square root of 10 a is on the positive x-axis so therefore a has to be equal to positive root 10 which is the correct answer for this one